Hello everybody, hope you're still well and fine. Same day, I'm still on a Sunday, still a gorgeous day, bit hotter now, starting to sweat. Can't turn the fan on because you won't hear me, which could be an advantage, but we won't talk about that. Anyway, so I'm um, back to this one. So this is a hard case. Yep, start cheering, a real hard case. And I nicked this from another guitar. So this guitar did not come with a case. It came with, I think it came with a padded case. Anyway, second hand case. Hence you can see the marks and bits and pieces. So if I lift the handle, you can literally see, there you go. There's some scuffs and things. So this is a second hand case. This is not a brand new case. However, it's got a little funny plaque on it. It says something strange. Da -da, there you go. And I've got some scuffs and bits and pieces on it. And uh, I thought, well, you know, I'll stick a guitar in it. And I thought, what kind of guitar could I stick in it? And I thought, I know, I'll stick a Martin in it. So here we go. I know, another one of the collection. Don't think you've seen this one. So this is, it was a quite expensive guitar when it came out. Second hand, I got it from Giles, St. Giles. I think music in Northampton, a well-known little place. If you know where to go, it's just St. Giles Muse. I've probably forgot it. And Simon and the geezers there, Simon and Philip, the dad. And, and the other one, I think he's called. Anyway, so um, uh, anyway, so where was I going to say? So I got this there. They wanted £400 for it, 375 395 I got it for 350 And it was my first Martin. Yeah, well, no, my first Martin. Because the other ones, I didn't, have, I didn't have a Martin. So I thought I'd give a Martin a crack, you know. Anyway, so yeah, this case didn't come with it, it's as is. So it just came with a bin liner. You know, I know, a Martin in a bin liner. These were retail for £849 brand new. They never stayed at that price. They start, they dropped down pretty quickly to about 699 And in the end, I think they dropped them down to 599 So this is like a, not a Mark One, but it's like a Mark Two. So as you can see, the... The pick guard's still got the cover on, that's not been removed. I don't use a pick, I just use fingers and strums, so that's okay. Nothing's been changed. The only thing's been changed, I've had the <clears throat> I've had the let's see if we can go over here. Do you think it'll work? You can see I've had the I've had the saddle dropped. I like it super low. So the saddle's been dropped and we had to have some something shimmed off the edge. So you can see where well, there's a little bit so it's rounded over here. We've had a bit shimmed off the edge as well. And we've had, uh, and I had some strings put on. I had some uh, Martin 12s, super long life. Don't make them no more. But yeah, I had that drop down, had a bit shimmed off there. It did leave me, unfortunately, a mark. I don't even think you can pick it up, but there's a mark just on the corner here where the brace was holding it, I think, something like that. So we go over to the info sheet. There you go. So it's an X series. There you go. Made in Mexico. And this is a dreadnought copy. And if I go over to there, we've got a number and another piece of paper down there. I can't get to that, but it says Martin, blah, de, blah, blah. So this is a DX1AE. So the E's electric, so it's got a pickup system. But it's just an undersaddled piezo, so it's nothing special. They're original pegs, string pegs. And the wood <coughs> is not. Um, it is um, what they make flooring out of and hard surfaces for your kitchen. So I've forgotten the name for the moment. The spruce is a great big lump of spruce. So it is spruce. So I'll go to the top. You can see that snail around the corner, around the edges. Just about there. So it's a great big lump of Sitka stick, stick, stick spruce. Yeah. And then it's been shaded. Obviously, yeah. And the back side, so I don't know what the wood is. It, the back of the wood on this is um, <coughs> Mukasa. <clears throat> so it's Macassar Ebony. It's not. It's just a picture. So it's not. And then you can see I've got the Bondo neck. Can you see I've got the Bondo neck, which is loads of bits of wood compressed together and then glued. So it's just like a Bondo. They call it in America, they call it Bondo. But it's loads of bits of wood. It's high pressure together and then glued. They're all off cuts. And it looks like a bit of driftwood. It's not. I'm going to get out of your spot there. It looks like a bit of driftwood, but it's not a bit of driftwood. But you can see just how thick that top is. There's actually a little bit of shimming around the top. I don't know if I can zoom on it. There's a bit of shimming. So it's a bit serrated around the top. Again, I've got some marks. I don't, I can't find them, but there's some marks on it. You know, it's been used. There's no fretware. And there you go. So the, the, 
the bridge and the uh, neck uh, wood on the top of the Bondo is a toughened wood. I'd say it's a, it's a man-made substance. It's not... Um, Oh, it's not ebony. It's the smell itself. And then again, this is the same. This is Macassar. This is a picture. There you go. It says there, Martin Co. Blah blah blah. Standard shawler type tuners. Nothing special there. And you can see if I go there, there's a layer of wood on top of the bondo. Can you see? So there's a lovely bit of wood. There's a layer of wood on top of it, and you can see all the layers in the wood that's been glued together. Just about. But there you go. But yeah, this one was eight hundred and forty-nine pounds when it's being retailed. I think it just had a padded bag. Uh, they dropped it down to seven nine nine, no six nine nine, and it went for five nine nine in the end. And they've got a newer version. And of course, this isn't a real bone nut. This was a man-made material. Uh, Corin, I think it's Corin. It could be Corin. These are long life. You can see the strings. These are long life Martin strings. I think they're a twelve. Look at that e. That's a twelve in it. I think. This case came in with it. And uh, there you go. So this wood is on my. I'll, I'll, there'll be a bit of paint. I'll, I'll put something on it saying what the wood is, you know. But um, I can't remember the name of the wood for the moment. Well, not wood. The cover, the, the top, you know. But it's supposed to be hard bone. Anyway, right. I'm coming out of this one. I'm six minutes twenty five seconds. I've been here forever. Sorry about this. And I'll put the wood down. As I say, if you know the wood, you can. Well, the, not the wood. The top. You can put it down. Oh, thanks. Cheers. Bye bye.